boogie woogie to me. I know you love boogie woogie, yes. A lot of you remember that era of the 40s, don't you? Yeah. I know, I watched it come in. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We're going to take you to the 1940s. Here's a song that we're going to just play for you and just get it on with a little bit of Pine Top Boogie. Yes, and the one and the two. It is so good. What a nice audience. Thank you. So good to be here, I got to tell you. You know, I joined Lawrence Walk a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. You know, and when I met Lawrence Walk, I knew I, knew I was with somebody very, very special. I knew way back then. I really did. I also knew way back then that someday I was going to be a rerun. Yes! <laughs> Of course, I didn't know they were going to show me in three different sizes. <laughs> That's okay. Now, <laughs> to get on the Lawrence Welk show, I got to tell you, I lied. I lied to get my job. Yeah, but it worked. I told Lawrence Welk a little lie. I tell you, here's how it goes. Someone told Lawrence Welk they knew about this girl who could play ragtime and honky-tonk piano. So Lawrence Welk got a hold of my phone number, and he called me up one day. And the first question he asked me was, how big is your repertoire? <laughs> well, I told him I knew 300, 300 ragtime and honky-tonk songs. I did not know 300. <laughs> I knew three. And I got on the show, I did, with three songs. And I was on the show week to week, on a week to week basis. And fortunate for me, he hired me on the third week, which also turned out to be my 20th birthday. He hired me on the air with a birthday cake and he announced it to everybody watching the show that I was a regular member. He did. I like to do the song now, the song I played that night, the song that got me my job. <laughs> Here it is, the one and only, the 12th Street Ragged. 